Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 35, SharePoint Integration. After Microsoft acquired ADX Studio, they released their own version of the Dynamics 365 Portal product, known as version 8. Unfortunately, some features that existed previously with ADX Studio were not available in version 8. One of those features was the SharePoint integration. Thankfully, as part of the October 18 release of Dynamics, this much requested feature was added back. The SharePoint integration is simple and straightforward to use. It is tied to the out of the box integration between Dynamics 365 for customer engagement and SharePoint, and is exposed via web forms and entity forms. First, it must be enabled within the Portal Administration Center. Next, you must ensure that document management is enabled for the entity that you are targeting with your web form or entity form. Once that is done, you are able to add the document location subgrid to the form being displayed on the portal. Finally, you need to configure entity permissions. Users will need at least read and append to on the main entity to view SharePoint documents, and they will need write to add new documents. You also need to configure a child entity permission. An entity permission for the document location entity should be created using parent scope with a reference to the main entity permission. To read documents, users need read, create, and append permissions. They require write permissions to upload new documents and delete permission to delete documents. There is one site setting that you should be aware of. By default, the maximum file size for upload is 10 megabytes. This can be increased to up to 50 megabytes by using the SharePoint forward slash max upload size site setting. Once properly configured, Portal users can view, upload, and delete SharePoint documents directly on a Dynamics 365 portal. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 portals tip number 35 from Engineered Code on the SharePoint integration useful.